What is up guys, Lee here. And um, today I want to introduce you to a new um, show or a new uh, line of videos called The Spunky Bartender. So I'm The Spunky Bartender and I'm gonna show you things. Yeah, sorry my, my little friend, if you've watched any of my other videos, my little friend's going hard, it's nighttime. So um, yeah, so check out uh, Spunky Bartenders. This is uh, volume one where I show you bartending tips and tricks and then I will also vlog my bartending journey. So uh, stay tuned and uh, smash the like button if you like this video and sub to the channel to see more bartending videos. go over um, a little flare bartending move that uh, you will need to know to uh, basically finish off any move that you're doing in uh, bartending. Uh, that move generally would just be called the pour. So the pour, just you just pour. Right? Thanks for watching guys, sub to the channel. No, I'm just kidding. I'll get back to the video. So the pour, just you just pour, right? And then you pour it in the glass. So pretty boring, but that's how you finish a cocktail. So you need to pour it in to finish it. So when you're a flare bartender, what do you want to do? You want to flip. You want to flip to pour. So today we're going to learn how to flip and then end up in the pouring position. So uh, right here, I've got a shatterproof flare bottle. Um, you can get these on eBay. I'll post the link. Um, I'll show you right now. So you want to grab the bottle by the neck. Just, this is this is basically where you always want to look at. You want to look at where you're catching. So you want to grab the bottle by the neck and you want to flip sideways. You never want to flip out. I'm not going to do what you all think I'm going to do, which is just flip out. Because if you flip out and you miss, then it will hit the person in front of you. It will hit you. It will hit you. It's up to the channel or I'll hit you. What we want to do is get a full rotation and a half and catch. So we count one and a half and catch it while it's upside down. So if we try and do that slow, one and a half, catch, where the pour spout lands right in the shot glass. And then you can pour, you can pour the rest in. So, so grab it by the neck with your right hand or your left hand and flip. I flip left and I'm going to want to go one and a half turns and grab by the neck again with my hand not moving. My hand will always be in this orientation. So flip and then catch and you can pour and cut. So uh, this one here has um, alcohol in it. So we're going to flip, catch, pour, cut. And then you can add that to your cocktail. So flip to pour is the most important trick that you will ever learn for flare bartending because it's the way to finish your bartending move. Anyways, I hope you uh, like this very simple move. Um, if you didn't, or if you did, or if you have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to get back to uh, my blog video of uh, my bartending gig tonight, so. What's up guys, Lee here. It's New Year's Eve. I've got uh, photo booths out. All that I have to do is do a bartending game. It's time to get ready. So, um, getting ready for the gig, uh, I'm going to be doing auto flipping, uh, fire tricks, molecular cocktails um, at a local nightclub that uh, hires me out a few times a year. So. Uh, I've got to go pick up the dry ice for the molecular cocktails. I've got to um, pick up Everclear for fireballs. Come with me today and enjoy. 
All right, we're in. So I just need to get uh, a cooler to keep the dry ice in. You uh, have to store uh, dry ice inside a cooler because if you store it inside like a freezer or something, uh, it has air flowing and it will just burn the dry ice out very quick, so. Okay, so this is the place where I get dry ice from. It's called Prax Air Compressed Glass, uh, Gases and Welding Supplies. So, picked up my dry ice, got it in the cooler here. Uh, usually a little cooler like this full of dry ice costs me about 40 bucks and it will last about two days in the cooler. So, this is the stuff that uh, I need for blowing the fireballs. Got my Everclear. And today, I want to go over um, dry ice cocktails and uh, the housing vessel for them that I make at my bartending events. The dry ice has to be kept inside a, uh, a vessel so that it doesn't get fully ingested. Got uh, these. And I've got these. So uh, I set up a table here. This is a, um, a vacuum that I use uh, specifically for these capsules. So it's a clean vacuum and I've got a drill and you just drill in nice and slow. is the finished product. Capsule's ready to go for a gig. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to bartend New Year's Eve at uh, this country rock bar that I always bartend uh, three or four times a year at. guys and uh, if you like this video sub to the channel and uh, smash that like button all right